All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to start an Amazon business the correct way. This is going to be a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to start an Amazon business with not a lot of money. I don't care if you're 16 years old or if you're 76 years old, this is a business that anyone can start with a couple hundred dollars and grow into a huge operation. Also, this has nothing to do with Chinese manufacturers. This is literally a business that you can start right after watching this video. This video will show you how to start an online business and never depend on the job again. All right, guys, let's not waste any time and get right into it. Check this out, guys. Every city in America, especially the inner city, has discount stores such as Marshalls, Ross, and TJ Maxx. The problem is most of the people that shop in these stores have a consumer mentality. They go in these stores and they buy a bunch of crap that they don't need. Most people don't understand that they can use these stores to their advantage and build a real business that makes them tens of thousands of dollars every month. These stores sell items for a discount and you can take these items and resell them on Amazon. All right, guys, let me explain to you how Amazon FBA works. So you will ship all your items to Amazon warehouse. Amazon will store all your inventory. Whenever a customer purchases one of your items, Amazon will ship out your product to the customer and take care of any returns. So the only thing that you have to do is find items for sale list them and ship the items to Amazon. Amazon will take care of everything else. All right, so the first thing that you guys will have to do is sign up for an Amazon seller account. To my younger guys that want to get into this and are not 18 years old, you will simply go on irs.gov and get an EIN number. You're gonna register your Amazon account with this EIN number. The next thing you will do is download the Amazon Seller app on your phone. The Amazon Seller app is going to allow you to go to any store, scan any item, and see what the lowest selling price for that item is on Amazon. You will be able to calculate how much money you can make on each product. Let me show you guys how to use this app. Alright, so for this example, we're going to use an iPhone case. We're going to click on the camera. Let's scan the barcode on the box. Right here, the listing is going to pop up. So right here, you're going to see the sales rank. This is going to let you know how fast your item is going to sell. The lower this number, the better. So this case costs us $10. Let's click on Amazon Fulfilled. Let's type in $10 for the cost of purchase. Now also, don't forget to factor in sales tax. So for example, if your state charges 10%, add another dollar here. I'm not gonna use sales tax in any of these examples because not all states have sales tax. And this is how much money we're gonna get back. So as you guys can see, we're doubling our money on this product. All right guys, then let's go to the store and buy some items. So for our first item, we have this children's swimming vest. So let's scan it. Here's the listing right here. So this item costs us $10. On Amazon, it's going for $27, and the rank is $63,000. let us click on Amazon Fulfilled, and as you guys can see, the lowest price is $16.97. So if we subtract $10, we're making $7 on this item. All right, now let's do another item. So this time is going to be a shampoo. It's selling for $7. Let's go ahead and scan it. Click on the listing. Click on Amazon Fulfilled. And as you guys can see, it's selling for $17.15. So that's $10 on each one. So we'll grab a few of these. Now let's move on to the next item. All right, guys, so the next item that we have is a barbecue cleaner. So the interesting thing about this item is that there are multiple listings on Amazon for this item. If you sell this item individually, you'll only make $1 back. But if you sell it as a set of three, you'll make $7.50 back. So we're going to tape up these three bottles and sell them as a set. As you guys can see, you can do a wide variety of different types of products. All right, guys, and let me show you something really important. So I found this Norelco machine right here. Let's go ahead and scan it. Now you guys will notice two things. First of all, this item has a very high rank. And also on the bottom right, it has a lock. So this means you need approval to sell this item. The cool thing is that if you press on this lock and click request approval, you will be approved to sell most items. Now the other thing that you probably notice about this item is that it has a very high BSR, 415,000. Now if you guys are starting this type of business on a budget, it's very important to avoid items that have a high BSR, even if you can make a lot of money on them. Only focus on items that have a low BSR so you can sell them fast and get your money back faster so you can buy more items and expand your business. This Norelco machine has a BSR of 400,000, so it would take me at least 3 weeks to sell this item. Whereas if I bought an item that's a 20,000 BSR, it would take me 1 day to sell it. I'm better off buying 100 items that I can make $3 on and selling them within a day or two than I am buying 6 items and making $50 on each one, but it would take me 3 weeks to get my money back. Let me show you guys a perfect example of this. So we bought these hair care products for $6. Let's go ahead and scan the item. As you guys can see, the sales rank is 6,000, which means it's going to sell really fast. We'll get $13 back, which means we're making $7 on each item. So it's better to buy a bunch of cheap items, sell them fast, and double our money. Let me show you guys another example. So we bought this grabber right here for $2.50. And as you guys can see, when we sell it, we'll get $6 back. The key to this business is to have a lot of products in rotation. So what does that mean? That means at all times, you have a bunch of products in the warehouse ready to be sold. And every day, you're shipping out a bunch of new products. When you get to that level, that's when you can start buying items that have a high BSR, so you won't mind if they sit for a couple weeks. You'll still get those sales. That's going to be hard to do when you're first starting out. That's why it's very important to start with items that have a low BSR first. Alright guys, let's take a look at a couple more items that we bought. So right here we have this hairbrush. We purchased this for $10. Let's click on Amazon Fulfilled. Let's type in $10. And as you guys can see, when we sell it, we're going to get $9 back. 
Now let's take a look at this acne cleanser. We're gonna actually sell this item FBM, which means we're gonna ship it ourselves. For some items, you guys can ship them out yourselves. I'll explain why it makes sense to do this in a future video. It costs us $10 and we're gonna get 23 back. All right, so check this out guys. We have this flat iron right here. This costs $30 at the store. If we look on Amazon, we can get $126 back. So we can make $94 clean. But the problem is this item is restricted, meaning you cannot sell it on Amazon. So you have to sell it on eBay. Every once in a while, you're going to come across a product that's restricted. This happens rarely, but you cannot sell these products. All right, guys. So after we get our products, the next step is to remove all store labels with the prices. We're going to do this using a heat gun. The heat gun is going to make it very easy to remove the tags. They're going to come off like butter. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add all our products to inventory. We're going to label all of our products and we're going to ship them out to Amazon Warehouse. Just so you guys know, shipping products to Amazon Warehouse is very cheap. Amazon gives huge discounts. So a box like this, which weighs 50 pounds, will only cost us $10. So you guys don't actually have to purchase boxes. If you live in an apartment complex or near an apartment complex, you can easily go and get a bunch of boxes for free. People have Amazon shipments come to the house all the time and they throw these boxes away. You can use any kind of box to ship out your Amazon packages. We're going to tape everything up and we're going to drop it off at the UPS store. If you guys have a lot of boxes, you can also have UPS come to your house and pick them up. When your inventory arrives at the Amazon warehouse, you don't have to do anything. You'll automatically start getting sales. And whenever you get an order, Amazon will ship everything to the customer. All right, guys. So we spent around $250 on all these products. When all these products sell, we'll make around $200 in profit. So if you guys want to start an online business, this is the absolute best way to do it. With this way, you do not have to depend on any Chinese manufacturers. A lot of things can go wrong when you guys are doing private label in China and that can completely destroy your business, especially with the super expensive shipping right now and all the supply chain issues. This way you depend on yourself and how much money you make depends on how much time you spend at the store buying products. There's a ton of these stores in every single city. So the people that are going to do really well at this are the ones that are going to go out and spend a lot of time at these stores, purchase a lot of items and grow a huge business. So for example, if you guys start with $500, you're going to go to the store, buy a bunch of products for that $500. You're going to turn that $500 into a thousand, get that thousand, buy a thousand dollars worth of products, resell that, turn that into 2000, turn 2000 into 4000, four into eight, and keep doing that over and over again. And later down the line, you guys can get employees, train them how to buy products, and then really grow that into a huge business. Trust me guys, this is the absolute easiest way to start a real online business. And the best thing about it is that you completely depend on yourself. There are a lot of people that talk about how to start an Amazon FBA business, but the thing is there's actually a blueprint that you have to follow. I know everyone wants to chill on the beach and make passive income, but the reality is that you should start it this way first so that you can always depend on yourself to make money. You can make private label products later. The amount of money you make completely depends on how much work you put in. Trust me, if you spend all day at the store buying items, you can easily make $1,000 a day. The more time you guys spend at the stores, the faster you will learn which products to look for and you guys will be pros in no time. All right, guys, so I'm thinking about making a whole video series where I take $500 and start a business like this and grow it into a real six-figure business and document every single step of the way. If that's something you guys want to see me do, please let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe. And again, if you have any questions, which I'm sure a lot of people will have, ask in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one.